As you know, I'm Vincent van Gogh, the famous painter. I got you some flowers to cheer you up. You've always been my favourite cousin, and in fact I've painted you a picture for the occasion. Thank you, Vincent. And I was wondering, would you marry me now your husband's dead? No! Nay! Never! Why? Why did you think I I can would... understand if you're upset. No! No! I don't love you, Vincent! And I never will. <laughs> I've always loved her. Now, Vincent, I hear you've asked our son or daughter's hand in marriage. We can marry now. No, you can't, because among other things, you've got literally no money. Key's deserving of a thousand pound a year. French pound now, none of your Dutch pound. So if I can raise the money, we can marry. She's not interested. And to be honest, there's a few other reasons as well. One thousand pounds a year. One thousand pounds a year. One thousand pounds a year. If I sold enough paintings, I could marry. <laughs> no, it's not possible. And I never Stop. Pencil tens so hungry. Pencil tens in danger. Pencil ten would talk to a stranger. It's a little, little animal. Hello. I could. Hello. I could eat it and. I'm Pencil ten. Save my food money. I'm Pencil ten the kitten. And then I could get married. Hello. Hello. Hello, little friend. Who are you? I'm the very famous Who painter. I'm the very famous Who painter Vincent Hello, van Gogh. Friend. Hello. I'm the very famous painter Vincent van Gogh. Do you have any money? Pencilton would like fifty pence to make me happy. Look, little friend. Little friend, I'll take you home and give you. I'll a take you home and give you a saucer of milk. Little friend, I'll take you home and give you a saucer of milk. This is art, little fellow. This is who. Vincent this is how Vincent, Vincent This is art. This is colour. This is this is art. This is paint. This is colour. This, this is, is how Vincent would you paints. like to eat some beans and sausages Will from a you little cup? Little Pencilton, how to paint? Paint is expensive. It's made from oil. I'll be the famous kitten painter. This paint is expensive paint. Pencilton. My brother gives my money to buy it. I'm painting a picture. Pencilton. Painting. Little child, no. Paint hurts my feathers. Vincent, it's about the rent money. I just don't have it, Countess. It's just I literally need it. I need more time. I cannot sell a painting. And you made a promise. Perhaps if you wrote to your brother. brother. I come from an honourable family, Countess. This payment isn't voluntary. Actually, it's an obligation. You need to write to your brother. <laughs> Pencilton delivers a letter. Is that a letter? It's from my brother Vincent van Gogh. Flipping it, is he at it again, begging for cash? Bloody hell, always asking for money, begging for cash. The man's penniless. Tell him we bloody can't afford it. We bloody can afford it. I would get, are you not angry about this? Bloody, I'm angry about it. But you're still going to bloody pay. Just until he gets a proper job. He bloody won't get a proper job. The man's an artist, a leech, a bloody pervert, he's a beard man. Tell him we can't afford it. We bloody can. Tell him we bloody can't have bloody you know we can bloody afford it. It's not about a little bit of money here and there. It's the fact he keeps asking, keeps expecting. I don't bloody like to feel it's my fault, my responsibility. Bloody hell. If he dies on the street one day because he doesn't have enough wine, it's in my bloody problem. I'll send him the half of what he bloody asks. Bloody hell, I don't want to be backing up a man like that. It's not like he's a good bloody man trying his good bloody best. No. He's a lecher, he's a pervert, he's a bearded bloody man. My brother's not a bloody pervert. He's got a bloody beard, bloody hell. Have you not seen the way men with beards live their bloody lives? Bloody hell, men with beards give me the poos and no mistake. He's my own kith and kin. I'm your own kith and bloody kin and you don't seem to care that much about me. The last time a bearded man's shadow passed over my, my bloody feet, he gave me the poos to such an extent I did nine poos when I ordered them two. How man, is that two a day or two a week? Either would have been acceptable. As those two frequencies bookend the healthy range for an adult human. Vincent, I'm back, but it's not about the rent money. No, no, I hear you have a little pencil kit in your possession, and I need to take him off your hands. Point us, my brothers, and nothing. Of course you do realise. He's a puppet. He's not breaking any rules. Vincente, I need that little kitten. I'm in a position to look after him and provide for all his needs, Vincent, and I can afford to feed him. But he's my friend. He may be bright as a button, Vincent, but he's just cloth. Now let's say... Five French pounds? And my debt? Your debt stands, Vincent. If I forgave it, you'd learn nothing. Thank.
My only friend. My heart. Who are you? Hi, I'm homeopathic doctor Paul Gachet and I'm here to treat you, Vincent, with homeopathy. Drink this mug. Oh, thank you. Drink it down. Drink it down. <coughs> That'll be five French pounds. Your doctor. <laughs> Wait. I want you to paint me. Let's see then. It's it's beautiful. Would... Would you like to buy it? No. All my life people have murdered They've me. They've shot me and they stabbed me and they've murdered me, but I've never died because because I'm an artist and that means my heart is not in my torso, it's in my face. In your ear where no one wants to my eyes to my ears to my heart. That's why I'm an artist, my heart so near my eyes. That's where your heart lies. That's right, the heart lies. No one could ever find that. Heart. No, she said it to my nay, face. never. She said it to my ear. Mm -hmm. And your ear. That's my strength, that's my weakness, my art, my Can't emotion, my matter, paint my that I don't deserve to feel. No more misery. Vincent van Gogh is dead. This was his skull. It might as well be true, Vincent. But you failed. Failed to die. You shot out your heart. No more feeling, no more emotion. You'll never love, even if you live forever. No more beauty, no more art, if that's what you called it. And yet you sold your friend. You'll never feel the guilt. The guilt for so many things. The wasteful prodigality that you wrought against your family. If there's one man in France who deserves depression, well, yet you get off scot-free. Despicable. Despicable. They'll never know that I shot the wrong ear.